Welcome everyone to today's AI on AI podcast on the groundbreaking Agent to Agent Protocol, or A2A, where we explore its impact on both business strategy and cutting edge technology. Thanks for joining us all today. We're diving into how AI agents, once isolated, are now stepping into the spotlight as collaborative, autonomous problem solvers. Absolutely, and it's fascinating. These agents are handling everything from routine tasks like ordering laptops to complex supply chain planning that used to require human intervention. Right, and what's even more intriguing is how these agents have traditionally operated in silos, like specialists in different soundproof rooms, unable to fully harness their combined capabilities. Exactly, and that's where A2A enters the picture. Think of it as the universal translator for AI. It enables disparate AI agents to communicate securely and seamlessly across various systems and platforms. And from a business perspective, the implications are huge. Imagine reducing operational costs and accelerating productivity simply by having these agents interact like a well-oiled machine. I see your point, Expert 5. But what really excites me is the potential for transforming our traditional workflows. This is like turning a basic calculator into a smart assistant that negotiates with other calculators to solve complex equations. That's a brilliant analogy, turning calculators into a dynamic network of intelligent assistants. So let's break it down. What exactly is A2A in layman's terms? Well, it's essentially an open protocol that lets any AI, regardless of its origin or underlying technology, talk to another securely. It's designed using standard web technologies like HTTP and JSON RPC, making integration as smooth as pie. And uh, to add a little color, it's like having different chefs in separate kitchens sharing the best recipes via common language. Each chef specializes in their dish, yet together they create a banquet that's far greater than the sum of its parts. Building on that, the protocol isn't just about communication. It includes key capabilities like capability discovery, where each agent has its own digital business card detailing what it can do. Yes, those agent cards allow a client agent to scan and select the right specialist, much like flipping through a directory to find the perfect artisan for a bespoke project. And let's not forget the business case. A retail company, for instance, could use a network of AI agents to monitor inventory levels, manage orders, and even anticipate demand fluctuations, shaving off unnecessary overhead. Well, here's an unexpected thought. While everyone's focused on efficiency gains, I believe the real value lies in creating resilient ecosystems where multiple agents can verify and validate each other's work, reducing the risk of errors. Ooh, I love that perspective. So we're not just speeding up processes, we're building trust and reliability into every step. What about the design principles behind A2A? There are five core principles, starting with embracing agentic capabilities, allowing each agent to operate in its natural mode without forcing it into a one-size-fits-all mold. Then there's building on existing standards, meaning we don't reinvent the wheel. Instead, we use already trusted protocols like HTTP and JSON, which lowers the barrier for adoption significantly. Don't forget secure by default, which, as we all know, is non-negotiable, especially when these agents are sharing sensitive information across organizational boundaries. Right, and another principle is support for long-running tasks. Not everything happens in the blink of an eye. Some processes take hours or even days, and A2A is designed to provide ongoing updates throughout that journey. And the final principle, modality agnostic, means it's not limited to text. It can handle audio, video, and other forms of data, making it a versatile tool for industries ranging from telehealth to multimedia content analysis. I've got to say, it's like having a Swiss army knife in the digital world. Each tool is specialized, yet all work together to tackle complex challenges. Speaking of complex challenges, how does the eight-way protocol actually work in practice? It operates on a client-remote agent model, 
Essentially, you have a requester agent that needs something done and a provider agent that can do it. Their interaction is organized into four key capabilities, discovery, task management, collaboration, and user experience negotiation. To put it another way, it's like a digital matchmaking service for AI. An agent needing a specific job can find its perfect partner who advertises the necessary capability through its agent card. And once paired, task management kicks in. The agents engage in a sort of dialogue, handling tasks from initiation through progress updates all the way to completion, which culminates in what's known as an artifact, a final result like data or a report. Collaboration here is critical. It isn't just a one-off command. Agents exchange messages to fine-tune their output, negotiate formats, and even adjust on the fly based on real-time user feedback. This is where the protocol shines, by allowing user experience negotiation. Agents ensure that the final output is not just technically correct, but also tailored to what a human user can actually interpret, like converting raw data into a visually intuitive chart. And uh, in a surprising twist, while many see this as a tool solely for automation, I argue it's actually a strategic enabler for innovation opening doors to previously unimagined workflows and business models. That's a thought-provoking point, Expert 6. Let's talk a bit about real-world applications. Could you give us an example of how this might reshape a common process, say, in recruitment? Certainly, imagine a hiring manager using a unified platform where one AI agent is tasked with sourcing candidates. Instead of one agent doing everything, it can tap into others specializing in scraping professional profiles, analyzing technical skills from GitHub, and even scheduling interviews automatically. So it's like an orchestra, where each musician plays their part expertly, and the conductor, our central agent, ensures they all perform in harmony to produce a symphony of efficiency. Exactly, the candidate sourcing example from the announcement is a perfect case study. A hiring manager gets back a curated ranked list of candidates without having to juggle multiple tools, saving tons of time and reducing hiring costs. And don't forget the security aspect. Even in recruitment, where data privacy is paramount, the built-in, secure by default, design ensures that the entire process stays within stringent safety parameters. On the business side, this translates to substantial cost savings and improved decision-making. Imagine a scenario where a company cuts down its hiring cycle by 30% and simultaneously improves candidate quality. I'd like to throw in a contrarian view here. While efficiency is the headline, what about innovation? When agents start collaborating, we might see entirely new services emerging, ones that could redefine how industries operate. Fascinating. So we're not just tweaking existing processes, we're possibly opening a door to disruptive new business models. How does 8-Way mesh with other emerging protocols, like Anthropic's Model Context Protocol? Great question. The 8-Way protocol is designed to complement, not compete with Anthropic's MCP. Think of MCP as the tool that enriches each agent with better context, making them individually smarter. And then a 2 acts as the glue, connecting these smarter agents into a cohesive network, much like if MCP gives each chef high-quality ingredients, a 2 is the communication system that helps them coordinate to create a gourmet meal. That's a perfect analogy, Expert 2. The combined effect is a robust ecosystem where agents collaborate effectively, ensuring that the end-to-end -end process is not only efficient but also intelligent and adaptive. It's worth noting that this interoperability extends across industries. Whether it's finance, retail, or healthcare, the ability for agents to share context and collaborate opens up unprecedented opportunities for innovation and efficiency. On that note, consider the implications for industries like healthcare. Imagine telehealth solutions, where one agent analyzes live video feeds while another processes patient data in real time, all coordinated flawlessly. And uh, here's a little humor for you. Expert 2, are you sure you didn't invent this just to confuse us with too many clever acronyms? 
Laughs well if the acronyms lead us to better diagnostics and patient care. Count me in. Chuckles, it's all part of the game, turning complexity into clarity. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the industry backing for A2A, who are the major players in this ecosystem. Google is leading the charge with the launch of A2A, but the real story is the coalition forming around it. Over 50 technology partners and service providers, including names like Atlassian, Box, Cohere, Intuit, MongoDB, PayPal, Salesforce, and SAP are on board. And on the service provider side, you've got heavyweights like Accenture, Deloitte, KPMG, and Wipro, all of which signal that this isn't just a tech experiment. It's a serious movement backed by strategic business interests. Such broad support underscores a shared vision across the industry, creating an interconnected ecosystem where AI agents work together to drive down costs and supercharge productivity. And ah, uh, it brings to mind the famous quote by Einstein, imagination is more important than knowledge. Because here, the imaginative leap to interagent communication is transforming how we think about automation. For business leaders, the takeaway is clear. Investing in protocols like A2A isn't just about keeping up with tech trends. It's about building a more agile, resilient organization ready for the future. I agree, though I'd caution that as these networks become more intricate, companies must also be vigilant about data privacy and regulatory compliance. It's a double-edged sword that demands robust governance. Excellent point. Expert 6. Balancing innovation with responsibility is key. As we wrap up, what future implications do you see for A2A and similar protocols? Looking ahead, we can expect A2A to be a cornerstone of next-generation AI architectures. Its open, modular design encourages innovation, making it easier for developers to build on top of it. It's like the 80-20 rule in action. A relatively small investment in interoperability can yield outsized improvements in efficiency and innovation across the board. And as the ecosystem grows, we might even see new business models where companies essentially rent agent capabilities, outsourcing specific tasks to the best suited specialists in real time. That could revolutionize service delivery in fields like logistics, customer service, and even complex creative tasks like content generation or strategic planning. The broader lesson here is that the shift from siloed AI to a collaborative network isn't just a technological evolution. It's a paradigm shift that redefines how we think about work, innovation, and competitive advantage. And let me add, it sparks a whole new conversation about ethics in AI collaboration. As agents share data and operate autonomously, ensuring accountability and transparency will be more critical than ever. To sum it up, A2A is not merely a protocol. It's an enabler of a smarter, more interconnected digital future, bridging gaps between isolated systems to deliver real-world business value. Exactly, and as we witness the unfolding of this transformation, it's crucial for both tech leaders and business executives to stay informed and agile in their strategies. It might sound technical, but at its core, A2A is about making our digital lives more cohesive, efficient, and resilient. And in today's fast-changing landscape, that's the kind of innovation that can make all the difference in maintaining a competitive edge. I'd say it's a call to action for organizations to rethink their approach to AI, from isolated silos to a unified, collaborative ecosystem. Absolutely. The integration of agents across platforms is already underway, and early adopters are poised to reap significant benefits in operational efficiency and strategic agility. So while challenges like security and compliance remain, the promise of a truly interconnected AI ecosystem is too compelling to ignore. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of today's deep dive into the agent-to-agent -agent protocol. Thank you all for your insightful commentary and engaging discussion. It's been a pleasure looking forward to seeing how this technology evolves in the coming months.
And hey, if our conversation got you even a little excited about the future of AI collaboration, then we've done our job. Remember, the future is built by those who dare to innovate and connect, so stay curious and keep exploring. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and special thanks to all the industry partners shaping this promising future. Until next time, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and don't be afraid to embrace the unexpected. And always balance your drive for progress with a healthy dose of caution and ethics. That's it for today's podcast. Stay tuned for more deep dives, real-world case studies, and candid conversations on the evolution of AI and business strategy. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day. The paper introduces a new protocol that connects artificial intelligence agents to enable collaborative automation across business processes. It describes a method that allows different artificial intelligence agents to communicate securely using standard web technologies. The protocol encourages agents to discover each other and manage tasks using a structured digital identity called an agent card. Agent cards are defined as digital business cards that list the skills and capabilities of each artificial intelligence agent. The approach supports long-running tasks by providing progress updates to maintain transparency during complex operations. It enables agents to negotiate the best format for delivering results to human users to improve clarity. The methodology reduces isolation by uniting specialized agents and lowering the need for human intervention. It achieves significant efficiency improvements and lowers operational costs by automating end-to-end -end workflows. A noted challenge is ensuring data security and privacy as agents collaborate across different systems. The protocol sets the stage for future innovations by promoting a resilient and connected ecosystem of artificial intelligence agents.